Okay, we have a brand new camera hub update and I am so excited to share it with you. Now, I already assumed that you know the basics. Camera hub can remove your background entirely or it can just simply blur it out. And of course, there's also the functionality that comes with the prompter and Elgato's webcams. However, something you don't know about the new camera hub update is that you can go from looking like this, a fairly average scene, to this by applying a LUT. You can even go from S-Log footage, which looks something like this, and you can go straight to this. Yeah, we got LUTs in camera hub before GTA. In addition to the LUTs, there's a couple of other little updates I want to skim through. This video isn't going to be a long-winded one, but I do want to make sure you know everything that has been added in the Camera Hub 2.0 update. So, no faffing around, let's get started. Okay, so I'm pretty sure most of you know how LUTs work, but let me break it down for you and also showcase what the Camera Hub software can do separate to the LUTs. So here we are in the Camera Hub software. We have the option to do things like the background blur, throw that on there, and then you'll notice that it helps separate me from the background, giving that nice depth of field. And it makes this webcam, the Facecam Neo, which is the most budget-friendly option by Elgato in terms of webcams, look really freaking good to the point where I've actually switched from a DSLR to this because not many people will be able to tell that much of a difference. Now, we can control the level of the blur, turning it all the way up and separating ourselves from the background even more. But then, of course, it starts going into uncanny valley territory where you know it's kind of processed. But if you want that level of separation from reality and you just want to hide everything that's behind you, you can switch to something like this to make it look a bit more natural. And I can actually change the color of the lights in the room to help me fit in a little bit better. I feel like I'm about to give some kind of presentation on economics. So these these are the features that we've had in Camera Hub for a long time. Nothing new or crazy here. I think there are a couple of extra backgrounds and things like that. But this right here, this is where it all comes together with the LUTs. So what you may not have noticed is that I've actually been using a LUT the entire video. If I actually turn this off, you can see that it goes to quite a flat image. Making it full screen, you can see that like the definition and the contrast in my beard in particular and the, the shirt and the, and the separation from the background, it all kind of just disappears. Whereas if we throw that same LUT back on that's a big difference and what if we turn the, the intensity of the LUT up even more you can tell that my skin tones start going a little bit yellow but it just it makes it look and feel a lot more cinematic I would normally keep this at around about 40 to 50 percent just to make sure that it doesn't look too unnatural but traditionally you use LUTs in the editing process it's kind of hard to integrate things like LUTs when recording or live streaming because it's normally been either really intense on your PC trying to process that information for every single frame but Elgato have figured out a way of making it work. So not only does Elgato provide these LUTs right here, but they've also integrated it with the Elgato Marketplace. So if we tap this little button up here in the top right hand corner, you'll be able to access a bunch of different LUTs and backgrounds you can integrate directly into your version of Camera Hub, either made by Elgato or made by a bunch of other creators like Harris Heller. Some are paid and some are free. But what I think is really nice is that you're not limited to what Elgato and people in the community are putting up on the Marketplace. You can grab LUTs from anywhere and integrate them with Camera Hub directly. So any LUTs that you've already bought, whether it's for video editing, photography, whatever it is, you can integrate those and just bring them straight over. So if I tap this button right here that says add, I can then go ahead and select some of my own LUTs. This one here is a LUT pack that I'm actually going to be releasing at some point soon. And I can just grab any of these that I have made myself and just bring them over. So here is what the Facecam Neo looks like without my filters, but then I've actually made one specifically to fit this theme and if I turn it on you can see that my skin tones again help warm up a little bit and separate from the background so if you want to make your own LUTs and integrate them into Camera Hub you can do that now. Me being a really huge nerd I wanted to see if there's a way to instantly integrate uh, the Camera Hub LUTs with uh, the Stream Deck which you know I don't feel like I need to tell you how much I love that device but imagine being able to switch a LUT on or off like a black and white overlay with one single key. So I've dragged the LUT from the Camera Hub a plugin over here and we're just going to go ahead and select the where's the black and white one film noir is that it okay so we tap this it, uh, dude it's 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 that simple one key and you can just switch if we press it again does it go back to normal oh my god yes that's that's pretty damn cool. Another thing you may have noticed is because we're using the Facecam Neo, the video quality may look a little bit different. And the reason I'm using this is because I'm actually testing out another part of the update where with the Facecam Neo, you can actually adjust the tint, this guy right here. So by default, it was something like this and it made my skin tone look a little bit green or a little bit magenta. But with this update, you can now fine tune the 
tint. Obviously now I look really pink and, and now I've become the Hulk. That's that's fantastic. But you can actually adjust this now. I know it's a small change, but it's a very, very welcomed one. Thank you, Elgato. I can now make myself look sexy. You guys think I look sexy, right? That's... Stop looking at my forehead. I can feel your judgment. All right, next up, we have a couple of updates to the Elgato prompter. If you're lucky enough to own one of these, you know how incredible they are. They make me seem like I'm articulate. I can maintain eye contact with you. Some people say that I'm staring and that my eye contact is very creepy and disconcerting. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's... That's awkward. You win some, you lose some. Either way, with the voice sync mode, which is one of my favorite things about the prompter, if you look at the prompter window down here, you'll be able to see that it follows what I say word for word now, rather than line by line. Out of 733 movies and shows that I have rated on IMDb, there are only 14 that I have given a 10 out of 10 rating. Some are huge blockbusters and others are smaller indie films. There's probably a couple on this list that you haven't even heard of, but that's the whole point of this video to encourage you to check them out and watch them for yourself. There are also upgrades to the prompter's integration with the Elgato Stream Deck. So if we go ahead and type in Camera Hub, there's a brand new thing right here called Window to Prompter. Tap that, drag it over, come down here, and then you can select any app that you have open at the moment. Let's choose Spotify, for example. So now when we tap the button on the Stream Deck, it should automatically send Spotify to the prompter. There was a way of doing this before, but it was a bit of a workaround and it didn't really work that smoothly all the time. So now you have the option to do that and you can make a really easy toggle so if we grab another one of those window to prompter and then we can choose obs for example this is going to look very trippy but then we could go like this and obs is now on the prompter itself we could then switch back to spotify and just toggle between the two like this which i think is really really cool and then one final integration added with camera hub 2.0 is this guy right here preview to prompter now if we grab this drag it over we now have an option to preview the camera directly on the prompter itself by tapping that button on the stream deck and it will automatically switch from camera hub over here on the prompter this looks a bit weird because we're like duplicating images but tapping it again you can just toggle between having a display or having your camera so you can actually stare at yourself and be a little bit vain finally to wrap up the video I've got a list of improvements and bug fixes and stuff. You guys are probably more distracted by my forehead, but I mean, bug fixes range from optimized memory usage for better overall performance, weird memory leak fixes that happened with the Camlink 4K. Maybe that's why my memory is so bad. Do I have a memory leak and I just don't know about it? <laughs> New visual indicators when using the prompter. Improved stability. Unfortunately, it doesn't affect my mental health. That one's still a little bit here and there, but I mean, it's good to have for Elgato stuff. Real-time mic detection when using the prompter. So if you switch from one mic to another it will automatically detect which one you're using more frequent saving when using prompter scripts basically elgato is still at the top of their game they're making what is already an incredible product even better greater G greater row Great, greater, better. But that's pretty much it for this update. I know it's kind of a small one, but I think the LUTs are going to be incredibly useful for content creators who focus on giving and delivering the best quality, whether it's in live streams or recordings. It's also one step that you don't have to worry about during the editing process, knowing that all of your footage is already looking kind of sexy. Then all you need to do is just trim it up and make it look somewhat presentable. Hopefully, like this video has been for you. Either way, subscribe for more videos like this one. I love your faces. You're amazing. You're beautiful. And I'll catch you in the next one.